Hey guys, and welcome back to Bath City and me, NG Paradox, to our second season in the Skybet Championship, where things, of course, are still a bit of a struggle. I've said before the Championship is a whole different beast compared to other leagues, but yes, I want to apologise, obviously, for the fact that this series has not been as regularly updated as usual. Um, there's been a lot of things going on, on the channel recently with the lore videos coming out for, like, Total War Three Kingdoms and the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, as well as the fact I'm trying to get streams started up onto the channel. Because I did them quite a while ago, but that's a long time ago. But I want to try and get into them properly. So I want to do three a week. So that has been taking a lot of planning, making sure things are set correctly. So that's taken away a lot of time from this series. So I do apologize. I have to give my priorities to what's ever coming first. So yeah, so this did have to take a backseat, but hopefully this can take a front, not a front seat, but this can take, this can go a bit forward again. The Italian series of the World Cup is about to finish, and if you are available, I'll actually be live streaming the final. So on Sunday, about 4pm London time, I guess, it'll be about that time, I'm going to be live streaming the Italian World Cup. So if you've not been checking out that series, go check it out and join the stream. If you've been checking it out, come join the stream. If you miss it, obviously, don't worry. I will put that series up on the channel. So I'll cut it up into parts of the stream and we'll put it onto the channel. So that way, if you miss the World Cup, not a big deal. Um, but I will be doing something special for it. I'm going to be drinking vodka every time the opposition scores against us. So that, that, that that's going to be fun. There's a celebration, obviously, that one. And so that means the Italian World Cup series will end. That means I'm going to have more time, and I might make the 2018 World Cup series, the road to the World Cup, a regular thing each Sunday. So if people enjoy it and people like it, I'll make it a regular thing each Sunday. That means there'll be no other football manager as a series on the channel. They'll just be a live stream and put up on the channel afterwards. There might be more time then for 2017 Bath City. So we're going to have to wait and see for that. But a lot of things have changed over the last... Uh, month or so. If we have a quick look at the transfer history. Last time you guys were here, I did bring in quite a few loans and obviously a new goalkeeper, but our signings did not stop there. I don't remember if I brought in this guy last time you guys were here, um, but I brought him in Semi Ajayi. We needed another centre-back. I felt like we need to boost up our defences, and this guy seemed like a, a decent choice for 45,000. He's not been great the seasons in League One, but I'm hoping because he's got a bit more about him, maybe being underneath me and having the staff and stuff, he might be able to show what he's capable of because they say he's better than our current guys. So, And he's 32 years old, so he might retire in a couple of years or one year. We don't know. He's just here for a little bit. Next one, I, I started to make some big signings because we, we had a lot of money and I missed a lot of the players I wanted, like the big players I really wanted. We were missing out on all of them. So I needed to plug those places that I couldn't get the players I'd wanted. So I bought in, as a striker, Mason Bennett. Now, Mason Bennett is a really quick player, and that's really it. He's just really fast. He's 30 years old, though, so he's a bit old, and he cost us 220000 That was a lot of money. I didn't really want to pay that much for him. I mean, he was okay in League One, you know, 29 goals in 42 appearances, but still... I don't know, the next season only 16. But yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping he might be, again, one of those players that just because he's quick, he'll be as good as the team is. Um, he's valued at 325000 so we did get our money, I guess. But I don't know, I, I say I had to just go with players that were on my radar, but not the ones I first wanted. We needed to improve the team, so we needed another striker. I did not trust Lian Gull, and this level's too much for Junior to cope with. Next, we paid 150000 for... Alex Honeyball, another centre-back. This centre-back, I feel, is better than the other guy. He's also 28 years old, so he's a little bit younger, so hopefully be one for the little bit in the future. And when it comes to his teams, he's only playing in League 2. He's played very well in League 2, but, you know, that's the least that we'd expect. So he's kind of a risk. A lot of these players are risks. I had to bring in what I could. And then, after the transfer window closed, we had an opportunity to sign Jerome Sinclair. Now he's 30 years old, but he is apparently our best striker, and he was on a free. So I thought, you know what? I didn't have to get a new striker, but let's bring him in. And so he's changed a little bit the way that we've played. Um, so far, you can see he's got three goals in four appearances. He hasn't scored that much in the championship, though, so I didn't want to bring him in 
But when he came up and the transfer window was closed, I thought, you know what, let's give it a go. And it seems to be working out for us so far. So when it comes to the club now, uh, Ben Henchcliffe and Jerome Sinclair, the top goal scorers. Albert Martin, the right back, is our best average player at the moment. He's doing quite well. Him and the other lone player, uh, Hernandez, has been a mate. I love Hernandez. Luis Hernandez looks great. Looking really good. Tilly as well as usual. Um, got the most assists with him. Griffiths is the best pass completion. Ah, Semi Ajia has got the most man of the match ones. Okay, interesting. Now, it's not looking so great. It's been an extremely tough month. Uh, after we beat Bristol City, we drew with Ipswich. Albert Martin scored, that young, lonely right back. Then we played Brighton and we lost 1-0. Then we played Aston Villa in the League Cup and we lost 1-0. So you can see there, it's just by one, one goal. Like It's always like a little bit. Then we played Cardiff and we lost 3-1. James Tilly scored. Then we played against um, Leeds and we drew one all. Lee Angle actually scored a, a late goal in the 82nd minute. Then we played Charlton and we lost 1-0. Another 1-0. Another they played Stoke, and this was a great result. A one-all draw with Stoke. Really good here. Jerome Sinclair scoring a penalty right after they scored. And then we played Middlesbrough, and we won 2-1. Jerome Sinclair scoring two goals early on. Then we got a red card in the 26th minute, and we were able to hold on to our win. And the last match we played against was Wolves, and Ben Hinchcliffe scored in this one. But that was all we could get. Um, Wolves scored two more goals. And that was the end of the match, sadly. There's been a tough time. But I will say this. The team has been playing really well. Like, when you look at the match stats and stuff, overall, we're not looking bad. It's like we lose, but we could have possibly had a comeback very easily. Or we just lost by one goal or we drew quite a few games. So it's not been great, but it's not been terrible. So when it comes to the competition, we're currently set in 19th with nine points. We are six points away from the relegation zone, but they've got a game in hand. So, and so does MK Don. So this might be only, I'm going to say it's probably like a three-point gap. But Peterborough and Bristol City are not having a good time at all. So let's go, oh, submit the team. No, no, no. Let's go into the game. We're playing against Fulham. And for the team today, we changed our formation because we got that new striker in Sinclair and Bennett. I decided that they're like two of our best players. We have to play them. So... They're both at the front. We've got two strikers now. Uh, Tyler Frost is in because we've got quite a few injuries, as you can see. This has not really helped much. Uh, Griffiths is injured for two to three weeks. Chettle is injured for two to three months. Tilly just got injured for six to nine days. Corteza, the young, lonely midfielder, is suspended. Albert Martin's just come back from an injury. Wilkinson is out for almost two weeks. And Tim Lovett is out for almost two months. So, And he's been out for ages. Everyone is out at the moment. So Tyler Frost is in. Mackenzie and Kuya are in. Kuya is playing. Ugh, ugh, I dearie me. Hernandez, really liking him, like I said. Then we've got Tutonda, Semi, Honeyball. Watson is in again. And we've got our goalkeeper, Will. I'm just going to call him Will. Um, he's gone in the first at the moment. I'm still not sure which is better. So we're kind of giving them both a chance right now. Um, he's had seven games. He's had five. We'll give him a couple more games and see what we can do if we compare them. But yeah, our bench isn't looking so great. We don't have any central midfielders. Hardy can, but he doesn't really like it. So it, it's been a tough time. It's it's been a, I must say it's been a tough, tough couple of... Well, month. I guess this month in particular we've had a lot of injuries, so... But quite a few long-term injuries before that as well. So really not happy with all that. But we have to just march on. It's going to maybe take a couple of seasons maybe for us to get used to the championship and actually bring in a standard of player where we can actually do well. Because right now, you know, we're struggling again in the second season. And no other season have we had a trouble in the second season in the league. We normally do really well at least by the second season. But like I said, this just shows you the difference of the championship with the other leagues. So it may take us a bit of time to get our you know, reputation up, get the squad up to standard. Though I'd say this squad is definitely better than last year. It's definitely getting, it's getting towards, it's definitely getting further towards that sort of championship standard, but 
it's definitely not enough yet. We're going to have to just keep improving. Let's try and beat Fulham here. I'm liking having the two strikers, though. I think it actually works quite nicely for us. Um, they seem to be working together the few games I've seen. Before that, I don't think it was really working for us. Okay, here they come. Imbula. Mulumbu. Mulumbi. Mulumbi. Bai. Mulumbai. Okay. Almeida. Mulumbai. Gets a ball in and a head there by Chinidu. Emmanuel Chinidu. Look at that hair. Look at his hair. It's amazing afro. And that's 1-0 to Fulham. Not going to stand a 20th. Peterborough, Brazil, Nottingham Forest are currently in last place. They've still got a couple of games in hand, actually, after this. And Peterborough, I think, are losing. No, they're drawing. No, they're winning, it says. And Fulham have scored again. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, Peterborough are drawing with Bristol Rovers. I, don't, I have a feeling this game is not going to go how I want it. Yeah. We owe Fulham for last time. Everyone likes revenge, but I don't think it's going to be enough. 2-0 right now. To come back from this can be difficult, but if anyone can do it, it's Hernandez. He's done some great assists so far. Not many, but I, I guess enough so far. Kuya, Watson, Kuya, Kuya gets the ball. Hernandez, Hernandez gets the ball back to Kuya. McKenzie gets the ball to Sinclair. He gets the ball to Bennett. He gets the ball to Hernandez. Gets the ball it's offside, isn't it? Sinclair, you. St oh, I, I'm going to blame Hernandez actually. Hernandez should have ran with the ball. He should have just ran to the side, not passed to someone in offside. And look at this. It's not good enough for all. I mean, we are away from home, so maybe it's my own fault. Uh, we'll bring on Paul Hardy for McKenzie. We just don't have we don't have the choices right now. Hmm. Defenders, I think, need to change. Honeyball, come off for uh, Joseph Aluwu. Yeah, we'll go for that. We have one more substitution, but I can't see us coming back from this. Unless we get a goal in the next 10 minutes, it's probably just going to be a win for Fulham here. It's definitely not been an awe-inspiring season, I must say. Good ball in there, but no one ready to get it. Will has the ball, and just kick it out. Just kick it out. Just kick get it out. Get out. Good job. And there we go. Bennett. Okay, he got his head to the ball, but lots of Fulham players around him couldn't really do anything with it. And Fulham now going right on the attack straight away. And wow, that was a decent shot right there. If Will did not have good reactions, that... Probably should have been a goal, really. But luckily for us, Will is just too good when it comes to reactions. Okay, Chennaidu, he gets it. Oh, careful, he's going to pass there, but went for the shot, it looks like. We still have a time to get one goal before the 70th minute. When you get one goal before the 70th minute, anything can happen. And what's this, a yellow card? I'm assuming it's a yellow card, because if it was a red card, wouldn't... Nope, you just can tell them to calm down. I was going to say, if it was a red card, they would have shown us the uh, foul. It'd be weird to not show us the foul and then just give a red, a red card. That would be weird. Hernandez. Kuya. Back to Hardy. Hardy gets the ball to Bennett. Can he get it to Sinclair? And he doesn't get it to Sinclair. Hardy, though, again. Gets the ball, but get it to Sinclair. There you go. Good job, guys. See, Bennett and Sinclair, I think, could possibly work well together. They both got a bit of experience under their belts. Maybe this is their time to shine. They've both not really been able to shine. Maybe this is their time. We see one more goal. It helps a goal. I mean, it helps a goal difference. So that's not too bad. But we need another goal. Come on, Frost. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? That was so close. Okay, that's it. Overload. I don't care. If they score more goals, I don't care. That was so close. I can taste a draw. I can taste it. I can taste the draw in my mouth. Right, here we go. 67, 64. Uh, but we haven't got any wingers or midfielders right now at all. This is just... Let's bring on Ben Hinchcliffe for Sinclair. Just because we're, we're trying to go for that goal, yeah. We're trying to go for that goal. Go overload. Let's get a new man up front. Okay, 84th minute. Hardy gets the, gets the ball to Bennett. And we've scored. It's 2 all. For Bath City, when I say for Bath City, I mean it's a, it's a draw, so yeah, it's not really for us, it's a, but we're happy. 
I'm staying on overload just because the fact we came back, maybe, maybe we can get another goal? Or am I going to screw it up and this is going to be Fulham scoring because I've kept it on overload? Am I getting too greedy? I've gone too greedy, haven't I? I'm being too greedy, aren't I? I know I am, but I can't help it. There we go. Aluwu gets the ball to Bennett. Give it to Hinchcliffe. Good ball to Hinchcliffe. We know Hinchcliffe can score these. Oh, no. Hinchcliffe. Oh, wow. What a turnaround this has been. What a turnaround. Hardy with the ball in. But yeah, the goalkeeper's always going to get that. We've got how many extra minutes of time? That really helps us. Now we're six points away from relegation, but not in force of two games in hand. We got 40 seconds. And Fulham have the ball. But now we have the ball. We this could be a chance. 30 seconds. And Hernandez is in a great position. Hernandez, get the ball forward. You <laughs> Hernandez! You son of a You son of Hernandez! Okay, here they come. Okay, thank you, thank you. We still get the draw, okay. May have been greedy, but it worked out in the end. We still got two all, so at least we got the draw. Phew, that was, uh, yeah. You done brilliantly come back and salvage a draw. That's not, that's a decent, that's a decent result. Ah, oh, but Peterborough won. That's not good. But it's good for our goal difference. It's one more point. One more point is always great. And yeah, so we'll be back for the next match. I like to have more points than games, at least. That's kind of what I want. And the next match will be against Huddlesfield. Huddlesfield, led by R. Stecklenburg, the goalkeeper. They just got relegated last season from the Premier League. It's going to be a tough game, but I'll see you then. And here we are for the match against Huddlesfield. Which we'd just like to point out, actually, we have quite a few uh, Jamaican players, actually. You know, considering that we're an English team, we've got, you know, Curtis Henry, we've got Watson, Jerome Sinclair, and then of course we've also got, you know, um, Junior, who's also, we've had quite a few Jamaicans actually throughout this series, which is uh, not something done on purpose particularly. We've got a few problems right now, we can see here, Mackenzie is suspended. This midfield is horrible, I should have brought in another midfielder. We've had so many injuries at midfield though. I didn't really expect us to need to do that. Uh, Leyland's going to come on for the right back position. Wow. Yeah, we are really down on people. Tilly is coming back. Uh, Martin, though, is back. So we can bring on Martin at least. You can go in for Leyland instead. And you prefer more of a fullback. I'll go support fullback. We've got Craig Dalgleish. You can go in for Mackenzie there. He's just unhappy. Otherwise, I'd play him and... No one will buy him off me. No one will buy him off me, which is absolutely ridiculous. Ugh. We need you back, Chettle. Seven weeks. They're both suspended. This is ridiculous. And Griffiths is injured. That's four midfielders that I can't play. Who would have thought? Who would have thought all of them would be out of play right now? Absolutely ridiculous. Just be a ball winning midfielder. Support. Here we go. Let's jump into this. I'm not feeling good about this. We've got so many second team players. We haven't even got all of our first team players on at the moment, which is kind of frustrating. We got Frost. We got Kuya. We got um, Hardy. It's uh, yeah, it's not great right now. Not great, but we we did okay last time. It's only a little different from last time. I feel like and we got Martin back, so just have to hope we can score more goals than they do. They've gone for similar formation though. And this team were relegated last season, so it's going to be difficult. Give these fans something to cheer for. We're playing in Bath. Look at the glorious stadium of Bath. Huddersfield, welcome, welcome. Welcome to this majestic stadium of light. But not the stadium of light. It's just very light because, you know, we're quite open. It's quite an open space. There's lots of light here, but yeah. Uh... Huddersfield are currently in 10th, but they've got they've only, they've only played 8 games. They've got like 4 games in hand. Wow. <laughs> okay. But here come Huddersfield. Webb is on the attack. But a good tackle there by Honeyball. They kick it up. Bennett couldn't get to it, and Huddersfield pick up the ball again. Adriano gets the ball to Webb. Allinson. 
And wow, that was... I really thought that was in. When it went past the goalkeeper, I really thought that was going straight in. Coolio picks up the ball. Gets to the Hardy. Hard, oh, Hardy. You want to show me what you can do? Not play like that. Wardle. Ooh, bounces off, but Webb picks it up, and... Oh, I hate when... I hate when it's a mistake. Like, when it's like an accident. I really hate that. It's annoying. But it happens, of course, and what happened for me sometimes as well. So I can't really complain there. Wardle hits the ball off to Tondo. And Webb, he's just... Yep, just got to... Just got to punt it, really, hasn't he? Just got to pump punt it for Huddersfield. Huddersfield are looking like the slight better team, of course, which is, I mean, not a surprise. If I'd said they weren't, that would be the surprise. Draxler. That, is that Draxler? No, that's not Draxler. No, no, it's not. It's not. There's no way. <laughs> Webb has just made it 2-0. Absolutely unstoppable. John Webb, you star. We're going to have to, we have to knock his legs down. Take his legs out. Knock him down. If we can win one more game, we'd be above our games we've played. Not on Forest are currently drawing, it looks like. Luckily for us, Bristol City are doing so badly. And Peter Brewer are not doing much better, so... We're still three points ahead of them. Right? We'd like to make it four points. We want to stay four points away from relegation. That's how I always want it. We've not been good enough. Yes, go back out there. Here we go. To Tondo. Hardy. Minus seven goal difference. A goal difference, I think, is better than last year. I mean, it was quite bad last year. But I'm trying to think at this point last year, what was it? It could be, but I think we're doing quite well at the start, though, actually. We're going to have to change the midfield. Craig, <laughs> Craig Douglas, you have to come on. It has to be for Paul Hardy, though, because they play very... I can't have both of them playing in the midfield. It would be an absolute disaster. We're going to have to change some defense, though. Yeah, they're not playing so well. Bola for Tutonda. He had a bad game. And, uh... Let's just let's do that. Not going to change a striker. I don't think they've been given many opportunities, so I feel it's more to do with my playmakers. The midfield, basically. It's more to do with them rather than the strikers. But we can't change the midfield right now. Yeah, we, we definitely don't deserve to win this game. At least we got a point last game. Like I say, it's going to be a struggle this season, I think. Just like last season. Uh, we'll just take off Jerome Sinclair. Bring Hinchcliffe on. Just for the last few minutes. Just so Hinchcliffe can have a little bit of a run around. You know. Say hi to everyone. You know. And here comes Huddersfield. And was that a hat-trick for Webb? And there's his hat-trick. Wow. John Webb looks like a pretty decent player to be honest. But then again, Huddersfield have a decent team. So there's not really much I can do about it. They just got relegated from the Premier League. I mean, what do you guys expect of me? What do you... What do you want from me? What do you want? Disappoint yeah, quite disappointing. It didn't even seem like much of a match, to be honest. But yeah, they got seven points still. Non enforced only has four. Okay, I'm feeling I'm not feeling too bad. Not good. But I I've seen bits of this team that makes me think they can definitely survive this. I think with the two strikers, if we can get our midfield back and have the two strikers, I do think this team can survive. Our aim, though, I say, is to try and get up to 15th. That's above 18th, yeah. You're kind of like 15th, 18th between there. I would like to try and get, like, somewhere there. But we'll have to wait and see. Guys, I'll see you next time.